Hello YouTube, in this video I am going to review a ROM called Dirty Unicorn ROM for your Samsung Galaxy S3 i9-00. We go to about page. You can find I am using uh, this DU which is a Dirty Unicorn ROM. This is the build them and this is kernel and then it is based on Android 4.4.4 can find the information about DU that is the Dirty Unicorn from here in the about section these are the people behind those ROM contributors social media site links and then even the DU change logs so it's actually a combination of AOSP and CM and then AOKP slim raw based ROMs if you look at the launcher we have two launchers to choose from one is Google now launcher that is this one and then the other one is launcher 3 so this is launcher 3 in Google launcher we have this launcher included if you are flashing the G, G apps besides that uh, we have work in wallpaper section we have some new wallpapers and then in settings we can say find almost all the settings you used to see on ASP ROMs and in the notification area you can find all these options if you look at the basic phone options like dialer we'll have the normal dialer here and even the contacts this is normal style you can add and make it a conference call by adding more people and if you look at the messaging option this is the messaging option This is normal messaging options we find in CM based ROMs. Besides that, this is Chrome, we flashed, and then camera is from Google Camera with all these Google Camera options. So we can take pictures, and then these three modes are available like video and then and we'll get uh, settings by swiping like this this is very normal to Google camera so not much to talk about if you go into the settings menu we have Wi-Fi that these are normal settings besides that there is a dirty tweaks if you look at the other options we can tweak almost all the aspects of the ROM in this option you can take the notification drawer you can uh, do all these things in lock screen we can change all the lock screen settings like say, we, we can also include and then customize lock screen shortcuts from here then theme options are there like we can customize the lock screen themes from here these misc tweaks like lock screen notification we can customize and then battery around unlock ring we can and then slider touch we can use press and hold the lock screen icon to handle the torch enable the torch like you can see it's turning on the torch so it's a good, good stuff besides that if you're going back to power menu we can find and then we can actually customize this power menu with all the settings you can add screenshots you can find here and then in quick settings this is the quick settings options in quick settings we can change the style then tiles and layouts we can add increase and then join drawer recommendations quick settings pull down option if you are you can write then if you look for the drive we can easily get this skip down next is custom progress bar we can customize the progress bar like 
pretty good result and now we can see the previews on the top speed increase speed and then stroke width everything we can increase and we can customize even the progress bar and the NCD density so we can change the value of DPI on the way we can change it from here and then here is the build dot prop mods so we can tweak from that side also many build prop mods are included like 3G speed hack optimized TCP GPU acceleration and then let's see the NFD tweaks we can tweak more like NFD tweaks there are many these are here also like enable Wi-Fi sleep and all then here is the miscellaneous tweaks asking for the super user request okay so these are the misc tweaks back to kill app options are there and if you got the settings option system option we have this animation system animation we can actually control each and every aspects of the row and then list view animations are there scrolling animation keyboard and toast animations are there and dynamic color change here so here we can change that also and then this reasons option so we can change this reasons option this is the reasons option I'm talking about we can change the color as well as everything we can change and then just anywhere so this is just anywhere options we can settings this by just adding gestures and then assigning some applications or functions for the adjust that gesture which is pretty handy and then uh, this is active display active display options are there including notification text and all then driving mode wake lock blocker suspend actions and then identity icons identity icons we can uh, use pictures contact pictures we can add we can change actually system app remover we can remove it any app you want any system apps you want and there is the ad blocker you can disable ads and the status bar you can customize like a battery battery bar you can customize as well as battery icons you can customize like circle with press legend roll and then clock option as well as signal Career level, status bar color, network traffic, weather, and in multitasking we have this hello. In recent options we can also add this to floating mode, so we can add some uh, any any app to floating mode. So we'll get this floating mode option that is there, and we can add a hello, which is a multi asking options for CM based forms then heads up displays are there and then omni switch as well as spy controls some options are taking some time because it's deeply into deep embedded into ROM so we can actually specify the trigger area on the can add by in by controls an app bar we 
okay and customize and add contents to app bar okay, sliding from here and there and save it so the app bar items will be saved so you can see this is the app bar and then app circle bar it's a new options can include any apps we want so this is the app circle bar, bar. it's also a pretty cool thing in navigation we can add a bar here navigation bar just like in Nexus series phones in miscellaneous options like download center, double tap to sleep so if we double tap the notification bar it will turn off this screen like that cloud pad other options are there and then filter notifications and over scrolling effects are there so in this dirty tweaks you will get a hell lot of options to tweak from so you better try it yours, yourself and then here is a theme option you can download theme from cm based you can download it from here theme packs will get and then we can customize all the themes options and this is device specific options like hsp and then screen options as well as haptic options and then usb audio options and then you can decide the default home and then buttons nah, hardware buttons and some options are here as well as in permissions you can actually customize the permissions of each and every programs and process stats you can see the process statistics Super SE is there. This is that. If you flash G apps, you can find all the G apps and then the latest really pop based material design of new Play Store. As well as we have this advanced settings, we just checked and then other essential softwares are here. There are the torch options are here and sound record family. Everything is normal. So overall it's a fully packed CM based slim based ROM. If you want to know how to install this ROM, there is a link in the description. You can go and check it out. That's it. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more.